Oh, what's this, Miss Meow Meow? We have an incoming message from Theo in the United Kingdom. Hello, Daddy Pickles. Please now have all the dinners. You're right. Armadillos are a brilliant suggestion. Thank you so much to Theo for requesting this episode's cozy critter. If you'd like to request an animal, my sleepy friend, have an adult send us a message on our Cozy Critters Podcast Facebook page or on TikTok. Now, on with the show. Hey, howdy, and hippopotamus high fives, my sleepy friends. It's your old pal, Dougie Pickles, and I'm here with my sidekick, the sleepiest cat in all the land, Miss Meow Meow. Tonight, we're setting off to meet an animal that's as fascinating as it is funny, the screaming hairy armadillo. These tiny armadillos might look tough with their armor-like shells, but they're also fluffy, curious, and full of surprises. And yes, they really can scream. I'd love to hear a joke, Miss Meow Meow. Hmm. What's a screaming hairy armadillo's favorite dessert? (laughs) I scream. I bet our screaming armadillo friends would love that one. Let's get our magical traveling balloon ready. I need your help blowing it up. So take in a deep breath through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Great job. Just one more time, my sleepy friend. Take in a deep breath through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. You did it. Now our magic balloon is all blown up. Tonight, Our balloon is decorated with little sand dunes, tufts of grass, and tiny footprints, perfect for a trip to meet the screaming, hairy armadillo. My sleepy friend, are you ready to meet a screaming, hairy armadillo? Let's get in the magical hot air balloon basket And here we go. First, we rise high up above your bedroom. And then we rise higher and you can see your whole neighborhood. Higher and higher and higher we go until you can see the whole city beneath you. Our friend the wind helps take us over mountains and rivers and curious birds who fly alongside us. I wonder if they think we are a bird too. Oh, look, we're here. Can you guess where we are? Let's use our noses and see what we can smell. Take in a deep breath through your nose and exhale through your mouth. It smells like dirt and grass. We're floating over the screaming hairy armadillo habitat at the Virginia Zoo in Norfolk, Virginia. (coughs) Miss Meow Meow hears something. Let's listen closely to see if we can hear it too. That's the sound of a screaming, hairy armadillo. 
their scream is a clever way to surprise and scare off animals that might try to bother them. It's like saying, I might be small, but I'm mighty. But don't worry, they're not scary at all. They're just a little dramatic sometimes. It's just one of the many ways they protect themselves. When they're curled up in a ball, Screaming hairy armadillos are about the size of a kid-sized soccer ball. Small and round, but oh so tough. And when they're born, they're even smaller, about the size of a golf ball. They're covered in a bumpy, armor-like shell made of bony plates. It's like wearing a suit of armor that protects them from danger. That's right, Miss Meow Meow. They're not just armored. They're fuzzy, too. Between the plates on their shell, they have soft, shaggy fur that helps keep them warm on chilly nights. Their fur makes them look a little scruffy, but in the cutest way possible. And look at their faces. They have long snouts for sniffing out food, sharp claws for digging, and tiny eyes that sparkle with curiosity. Their little feet even help them climb over small obstacles as they explore their grassy homes. Screaming hairy armadillos live in the dry grasslands, scrublands, and deserts of South America, mainly in countries like Argentina, Bolivia, and Paraguay. They live in areas with sandy or loose soil, which is perfect for digging their burrows. These environments might seem tough with their hot days and cold nights, but screaming hairy armadillos are perfectly adapted to handle these conditions with their protective shells, fur, and burrowing skills. They're true survivors of their rugged habitats. They're also big fans of tasty goodies. They're omnivores, which means they eat both meat and plants. They love munching on insects, various plants, and even fruit if they can find it. They're like nature's little snackers, always searching for yummy treats. And did you know that screaming hairy armadillos are also great explorers? One of their favorite hobbies is roaming around their grassland homes, sniffing out food and checking out new places. They use their strong noses to dig and their sharp claws to climb over obstacles. They're always on the move, curious and ready for their next big adventure. Let's talk about some amazing facts about these tiny, hard-shelled cutie pies. Did you know that screaming hairy armadillos are excellent sprinters? They may be small, but they can dash across the grasslands surprisingly fast when they need to escape a predator. My sleepy friend, how fast do you think they can run? 
as fast as a human? Nope, even faster. As fast as a bicycle? Nope, even faster. They can sprint up to 30 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car. And they need that extreme speed to help escape predators. That's right, Miss Meow Meow. They're also fantastic diggers, creating burrows to hide in during the day and keep cool. Their claws are like nature's perfect shovels. And here's something really wild. Screaming hairy armadillos can hold their breath for up to six minutes. That helps them stay safe while digging or crossing tricky terrain. These armadillos may be small in size, but they're brave and resourceful. Just like the armadillo uses its scream and its shell to protect itself, you can also find ways to face challenges in your own way, even when those challenges feel big. That's right, Miss Meow Meow. Whether it's trying something new, solving a tough problem, or being brave when things feel tough, we can all learn a lot from the tiny but mighty screaming hairy armadillos. Oh, look at them now. They're digging their burrows and settling in for the night under the starry Virginia sky. I'm pretty tired too, and Miss Meow Meow is all curled up like a little kitty armadillo. How about you, my sleepy friend? Are you ready to head home and dream of our small, furry, but brave friend? the screaming hairy armadillo? Well then, let's head home. Here we go. First, we rise up slowly from the Virginia Zoo, past the entry gates and the tiny armadillos scurrying below. Our friend the wind carries us back over fields and rivers and birds who fly alongside us. I wonder if they think we're a bird too. While we head home, I thought of a lullaby I want to share with you. It goes like this. In the sandy grasslands, soft and bright, A tiny armadillo roams at night with a fuzzy shell and a curious nose. It digs its burrows as the cool wind blows. Armadillo, armadillo, small and sweet, dream of the earth beneath your feet. The stars will shine, the moon will glow. Rest in your burrow, safe (sighs) below. Oh look, you're back home. Miss Meow Meow and I had such a wonderful time with you. We hope to see you soon when we visit our next animal friend, Axolotls. Until next time, my sleepy friend. Toodaloo, and Cozy Critter Dreams too. Miss Meow Meow and I want to give a special thank you to Tara Baumgartner 
and the wonderful staff at the Virginia Zoo for hosting us and sharing fascinating facts about screaming hairy armadillos. If you'd like to visit the zoo or support their work with a donation, visit virginiazoo.org. Cozy Critters is produced by me, Doug Frazier, and distributed by PRX. Make sure to subscribe to Cozy Critters on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the iHeartRadio app, or wherever you get your podcasts.